guys. It's your boy Blast from Miss HD. And today we are here to do something that none of us want to do. It's something that y'all want me to do, but I don't want to do myself, man. Scary videos. I would rather watch Family Guy to tell you the truth. But I know y'all like this stuff. Let's get on with it. Hell or high water. The popular YouTuber TechRax has been testing the durability of technology for years, especially the Samsung Galaxy series and the Apple iPhone. On his channel, you can watch these phones get destroyed in pretty much every way imaginable. Damn. He drops them from extreme heights, he crushes them with cars, Damn. shocks them with tasers, pounds them with hammers, there's hot knives, gas Damn. torches, and even a lawnmower. You Damn. name it, and TechRax has probably thrown an iPhone at it. Damn. However, when testing the durability of his brand new iPhone 11 Pro, things take an unexpected turn. He travels seven hours to an isolated spot in the Nevada desert. He plans to drop the iPhone 11 into a 50 foot deep hot spring named Diana's Punch Bowl. For unknown reasons, this hot spring is also known by the name the Devil's Cauldron. Oh, no. Now we made it to the location, guys. I apologize in advance if it's super windy. We're basically in the middle of this desert. Uh, I want to show you guys the rig of what exactly is going to go on first before I even show you the hole. Now I want to show you guys the actual hole. So as I'm walking close, just a couple steps here. Pretty crazy, guys. You can see there's steam coming straight out of this water. It's supposed to be about a... It's wide, just like I like it. <laughs> we gonna edit that out 140 to 180 degrees fahrenheit so you will burn yourself if you try uh, like taking a dip in here but it's super sick literally in the middle of nowhere now the first time tech rex drops his recording iphone into the extremely hot water the phone comes out fine and the footage shows nothing particularly strange It's not bad. I don't like water though. I don't like water. I don't like water. But I don't the second like water. time he drops his phone into the devil's cauldron, things water. get a little weird. When he reviews like the footage later, he's shocked by what he finds. I don't do water. No! No! Techrax says he has no idea what could have caused this strange underwater screaming, especially since his first recording didn't pick up any odd sounds at all. So just what do you think this strange sound from the Devil's Cauldron could be? Let me know down in the comments. They should rename this hot spring the Devil's Anus because it's hot, deep, and unfortunately wet. I, I'm as sorry as you guys are, man. It's the only other descriptive fact I could say about it. It, it is wet and hot. <sighs> 180 degrees, man. I might still go for it. Like, it depends on what the devil looked like on that day. You know what I mean? Is it the devil off of uh, Powerpuff Girls? Because if that's the case, that's a no-go. Actually, I can't think of any attractive devils. You can watch this full video as well as Techrack's examination of the footage over on his YouTube channel. Followed home. Oh, hell no. Over on the YouTube no. channel, Ashes to Ashes, Dave Ashes. and his brother Chris explore abandoned Ew. and sometimes supposedly haunted houses. His face lumpy. In this investigation of a woman who says that she has been haunted by an evil entity that has followed her for most of her life, Damn, the guys pick up a very strange EVP. Uh-oh. EDP? Who's here? Four, four, five? No! He's haunting us! <laughs> Grab Thank your you. kids! Thank you. Yep. Is there anything that would like to uh, go with him? Is there anything that what? would like to uh, what? Is there anything that would like to? Uh, I'm gonna ask you to give us a sign up here. Don't give me no sign. I don't want no sign. A creepy don't little voice no seems to say, "Go with him." And Dave says that he thinks the evil entity in the house might have done just that. What? Since the investigation, he's heard sounds and voices in his home especially in one particular hallway. And then, one day, his dog begins to act very strange. Oh, hell nah. See, this is why I don't go to haunted houses, because I'm afraid of something following me back. 
Hell no. We get to 3 million subscribers, I do it maybe once or twice, but never three times. Who is it? What is it, boy? Huh? What is it? Huh? Is little Timmy's trapped in the cellar? Is somebody in the well? Is is, is the barn on fire? And little Timmy's trapped in the well. Go get it, boy. Go get it. Huh? Who's that? You better go. Hey, hey, look, you go first. I put food in your bowl. You go check it out. Because it ain't going to be me. No. Who is that? Who's down there? I don't, I don't like this. What the hell? Turn on the light, nigga! I'll show you that there's nobody in the hall. Who is it? Did you see it? I didn't, I didn't see it. What happened? Oh, no. I'll show you that there's nobody in the hall. Oh, that's not good. Is it gone? It's gone! It's gone! Some odd thing with pointy ears seems to be hiding around the edge of a door. And note that when Dave swings his camera back around, whatever it was, is now gone. You oh, can watch all no. of Ashes to Ashes Paranormal Investigations no. over on their YouTube channel. No, I'm not doing it. First ghost hunt. Last ghost time. <laughs> Reddit user Manda Burke and her husband were exploring the haunted Hillview Manor, an old mental asylum located in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. They had bought tickets as part of a ghost hunting tour group. Manda says they walked around, checked the EVP meters supplied by the tour company. <laughs> Bro, that sounds like the title of the haunted house video when I reached 3 million subscribers. First ghost hunt, last ghost hunt. <laughs> Yeah, bro, that caption resonates with my soul, bro. First ghost hunt, last ghost hunt. <laughs> Never again. Funny, but nothing much happened. Then they began to hear an odd shuffling sound at the end of one of the halls, but they thought nothing of it at the time. Then suddenly from the end of the hall, they heard running footsteps charging towards them. Don't let us hear it. Don't put it on. We don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear this. Amanda says that the whole event was one of the scariest things she's ever experienced. Now, I should note that I don't usually show videos without some visible or audible evidence of the supernatural. But looking at the reaction of this group and seeing just how hard and painful those falls look, I think this is pretty compelling evidence that something came down that hall. Yeah, damn that. But as always, you decide. Deconstruction. This next clip is from a Chinese ghost hunter named Xiao Long who broadcasts his investigations live on a Chinese streaming service. Chinese people don't! Xiao Long and his friend are exploring an abandoned building that is said to be haunted by the ghost of a construction worker who lost his life while working on the building. Why would you go? As they begin their investigation, creepy things start to happen Let's immediately. Let's not do this. Can we not do this? Go on, follow me. Hey, yo, my nigga, look. I'm going to translate for the, the Chinese dude because I... I know Chinese uh, people. The language, not the persons. Hey, yo, my nigga, what, what are we doing here? What the fuck is that? What is that? What is that? What's going on, man? What happened? Don't play with me, man. Don't you play with me. What's going on? Who to see? What to see? How big was it? Is there something right there? Is there something down there? Yo, hey. You play too much. Don't play with me. This is why I don't ever take you to McDonald's when we go. You know that bullshit. He just walked down by there. No, 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 no. One of the explorers swears that he saw a worker dressed in construction clothes walk through the lobby downstairs. No, But no. his friend doesn't seem to believe him. No. He shrugs it off and they continue their investigation. No, damn that. Yeah, you're like, hey, let's go to Chipotle. We getting out of here. Let's go to Chipotle. This room feels off. Don't go there. 
Don't go there. Ah! Ah! Oh, Pokemon. What was that? What was that? Ah! You were so Quit playing! You play too much! Someone's there. Where? Nigga. Quit playing. Quit playing! Oh, you might have hungers for you. See? You're playing too much, bro. It's all over the place. What's all over the place? Oh, you might have hungers for Someone in the toilet. Someone shitting. Someone pooping. Where's it at? Tony Ma gonna. Don't don't threaten to fight it. No! 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 Ah! No! Why are we still here? You thought it up! Dude! Play too much! Quit playing! You thought you were there. Huh? Who told me, man? Again, the same explorer claims to have seen someone, but again, his friend thinks he's just being hysterical. Now, before we go any further, I should point out that uh, unlike uh, the Saudi Arabian ghost hunters who pray to ward off evil spirits, the Chinese believe that cursing and acting angry will scare away evil ghosts and demons. Oh, so they're like black people. <laughs> Bro, I do that shit instinctually. Hey, you get the hell out of here. I ain't with this shit. Huh? Now who wants it? If I'm ever in a haunted house, that's the shit I'm yelling. Stuff's happening. I'm yelling angrily because <laughs> I'm trying to scare it off. It never works. And you'll see what I mean. What? It gets worse? That's not it? No. No. Oh, he gonna curse. Okay, he gonna curse at the, at the... No! Don't show it again! I don't do this! Don't do this! Run away! Run for our lives! Don't cry, whore! Run, bitch! What are you crying for? Bro, this is not the time to tap into your feminine energy, bro! Run, bitch! Run, slut! This is not the time to tap into your feminine energy! Quit screaming! You go! You want him to show himself? Really? No! Don't come out! Don't listen to these dumbasses! Please! No! Don't! No! Please! Don't you let! Don't you do it! Don't you let! Don't you listen to them! Don't you listen to them! Run away! What are you doing? Y'all niggas dumb. Y'all deserve to get y'all asses ate. No homo. Y'all deserve to get y'all asses ate. Not in the gateway, but off. Get ate off. Get out, really. Y'all in his house. Y'all are in his building, nigga. Oh my God, he left his hat. Where's the hat? I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't do 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 this, man. I'd have ran on these niggas. I'd have been out. I'd have been gone. And yet again, one of the explorers sees what looks like a man in a red hard hat peering from behind the door. This time, he even manages to capture it on camera. But yet again, his friend doesn't believe him. That is, until everything suddenly takes a terrifying turn. Bro! No! I don't want to be in this! No! No! No, 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 no! No! Run, bitch! Run! You run. What's going on? Hey, what's, what was that? Run, stupid! Run! Where are you, Tony Mata? No! Don't come back! Run away! Why are you running? Why are you running? Run, stupids! Run for our lives! Run away! Get out! Get out! Nigga, you better get up! Get out! Get your fat ass out that hole! I'ma leave you! I'ma leave you! Get out! Run! Come on! Get out of here! No! Don't look! Don't look at nothing else! Don't look at nothing else! Run away! 
survival instincts, damn it! As they make Survive! their escape, the building seems to be crashing down all around them. One of them falls right through an open hole in the floor. Luckily, they eventually manage to make it outside the building to safety. So, what do you think? Did they catch extreme footage of an angry construction worker ghost on their live stream? Or is it all just an elaborate that shit hoax? That ain't fake, man. That shit ain't fake. You decide. That ain't fake. Ain't nothing Frozen fake about with that. fear. Frozen Years with ago, fear. Tyler Rowe worked in a Kroger grocery store in Powell, Tennessee. He claims that every morning at exactly 9.02 a.m., the staff witnessed this at the warehouse freezer door. Freezers, freezers better not rest. <laughs> Here comes. Is there a light? Is there a light in here? And there's nothing in here. There's nothing, nobody, anything. It's just open. No. Tyler says that it was every morning like clockwork. At 9.02 a.m., there was banging on the warehouse freezer, and then the door would swing open on its own. Did somebody die in the freezer at exactly 9.02 a.m.? That's crazy. But there was no one inside. Here comes. Hey. So two months ago, someone named Emily claimed in the video's comments that she currently worked at the same Kroger grocery store and that the strange occurrence still happened, even though the store had recently replaced the freezer door. She says that the freezer door still slams open and closed all on its own. Meanwhile, on TikTok, Andy Sauces Kamase is trying to record a video for TikTok when he spots something truly chilling. What the God's name? What the hell? The face of a little girl seems to be peeking out at Andy from behind his wardrobe. Nigga! However, Come when Andy on. checks the area, no one there. No! Not only is there no one in the space, but Andy demonstrates in a follow-up video how no one could have even been sitting in this narrow area to begin with. Voy a aclarar algunos youtubers. Que en esta parte de aquí atrás, en esta parte, sí hay un espacio, pero un espacio donde cae mi puño. Y aquí, supuestamente, fue donde apareció la cabeza. No, 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 lo malo que esta huevadita te. No, troperito aquí. No, 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 no. So, what do you think? God! Is this the ghost of a little girl, or is it just a very good fake? I think he need to move. Let me know down in the comments. Move, bitch! Get out the, the watcher way! watcher in the window. Oh, hell Over no. on the YouTube ghost hunting channel, The Haunted Side, lead investigator Patrick and his cameraman Jason are investigating the supposedly very haunted clean water demon house in Reno, Nevada. According to local legend, Many people have lost their lives in the house, and the property is said to have been home to occult activity for years. As Patrick and Jason investigate, they experience many strange occurrences. Region. Oh, I got Pink. dizzy there for a second. Home. Central. Oh, it's so cold right here. Yeah, it just got real cold. Oh. Who's in here? Please don't. No. What? Ambition. Oh, oh Jesus. As Patrick says, who's in here? Without even noticing, he picks up a small voice, almost like a child, whispering, me. Who's in here? Ah! What the f***? What the f Footsteps right above us. The guy
guys hear bizarre noises from upstairs and head up to investigate. White people. As they are checking out the check upper out, floor, huh? some truly creepy things are happening on the floor below. Gotta investigate. If you walk closer to this machine right here, it'll let us know that you're there. Can you come just a little bit closer? Ooh, ooh, no. Did you see that? After reviewing the footage, we could find no explainable reason that bike should have fallen over, so we decide to regroup and head back upstairs. Upstairs EVP session. Is there somebody up here with me? Whoa! Dude! Was that you? No. What the f But throughout the whole investigation, there is something even more chilling going on. Something that the guys don't even realize. I don't know what it is about that staircase, but it just doesn't feel good. What was that? What? Patrick catches an unexplained shadow figure looming in a doorway as if staring out at them. Even more bizarre, they have a second camera filming inside, and as you can see, there's no one there. You okay. What was that? What? I don't think that was a shadow. It was on the other side of that window. But it gets even creepier. They don't realize it, but this strange dark figure seems to be watching over them throughout their investigation. I'm gonna move the volume down like a smidgen. Just tell me when, okay. when it's not feeding back like that. Smidgen, just tell me when, when it's not feeding back like that. What's especially creepy about this figure is it appears there and then a second later disappears from that window. To watch The Haunted Side's full two-part investigation of the Clean Water Demon House, as well as their other weekly paranormal investigations, check out their YouTube channel. It follows. Hell Nuke's top five viewer, NK1, worked overnight security at a brewery. He says that one of his co-workers always claimed to experience spooky occurrences around the factory. But NK1 never believed him. Until this night. On this particular night, his friend says that he felt that something was watching him, maybe even following him around the brewery as he went on his nightly rounds. You can see that the guy checks behind him several times, almost as if he expects to see something there. But as he turns to walk away, that is when some odd misty shape can be seen following behind. Needless to say, after this video, NK1 never doubted his friend again. And also needless to say, they were both chilled to the core by this strange video apparition. Even creepier, MK1 says that soon after seeing this video with his own eyes, even he began to experience bizarre occurrences around the factory. The John Lowe Murder House In 2014, 82-year-old dog breeder John Lowe's mind just seemed to snap one night. In a fit of rage, he tragically ended the lives of his 66-year-old girlfriend, Christine Lee, and her daughter Lucy at his family home in Surrey, England. Lucy was somehow able to call the authorities moments before she lost her life, and John Lowe was arrested for his crimes shortly thereafter. The sudden strange and brutal act shocked the entire country. Since the tragedy, the house has been left completely abandoned. Paranormal investigator Simon from the YouTube channel Ghost Raiders went to what locals now call the quote, John Lowe Murder House. His intent was to try to make contact with the spirits of the victims who are still believed to haunt the scene of the crime. Together with YouTube ghost hunters proving demons, they try to communicate with Christine and her daughter Lucy using a spirit box. No. Their questions get some very strange and eerily accurate responses. No. Is Lucy here? If Lucy is also here, can you say Lucy? Lucy. 
Lucy. Whoa, that was so instant clear. and clear. Lucy is with us. Are you here in this room with us, yes or no? The shocking spirit box reply seemed to acknowledge that Lucy and her mother might be trying to make contact with the paranormal investigators. But things get even stranger when Olivia from Proving Demons claims that she feels something touching her back. Hold on, hold on now. Could it be a car on the road? It she just behind grabbed me. my back. No, I didn't grab your back. Why? Video? No, seriously, did you just grab my back? I swear, no, I, swear like, I didn't touch you. That was hard. Andrew was holding, I didn't touch you? Andrew was holding with the hand that he would grab you back. The camera. And my other hand's in my his pocket. Hand in his pocket. It was nothing well, that he could unless, have grabbed his back with. Unless my jacket was halfway up my back, something just pulled it. Did you see it? Right before Olivia says something grabbed her back, a small light enveloped by a strange translucent mist seems to rise up and away from her. This bizarre light or mist was not even noticed by any of the explorers. Hold on, hold on now. Could it be a car on the road? It she just behind grabbed me. my back. No, I didn't grab your back. Why? After Simon uploaded the video to the Ghost Raiders channel, keen-eyed YouTube viewers pointed out the very strange phenomenon. Now, I have to say that this clip is one of the more compelling pieces of paranormal footage that I've seen because being able to fake this mist, time it perfectly, and then this very real reaction from Olivia when she says her back is touched, well, it all seems very hard to fake. But of course, I could be wrong. Let me know what you think. Did you see it? YouTuber Eric Gunner is an urban explorer and occasional paranormal investigator from Mexico. In one of his videos, Eric claims that a girl named Natalie contacted him about some very strange activity in her home. Natalie, who appears in the video with a teddy bear face concealing her identity, says that her mother recently rented the upstairs apartment in their house to an elderly woman. Natalie says that as soon as the woman moved in, strange things started occurring in their home. They would hear odd noises in the middle of the night. They would find random things move from one room to the other and they would often smell an unexplained foul stench coming from upstairs. Weirdest of all, cats and dogs in the neighborhood began disappearing. As for the old lady, her behavior was odd to say the least. She avoided all contact with Natalie and her family. The woman didn't say hello or even talk to them when they passed her on the stairs. If they knocked on her door, she wouldn't answer. Natalie and her family became more and more terrified as the odd noises and events in their house intensified. Then one night, Natalie's 10-year-old sister woke up screaming, saying that her back was in agonizing pain. They checked her and found that her back was covered in deep, unexplained scratches. Well, with that, they had had enough. Without even so much as packing a bag, they fled the house in the middle of the night. As of the filming of this video, they had not been back for two weeks. Damn. So, Natalie knew about Eric Gunner's YouTube channel. She asked him to investigate. De hecho, si apago la luz, la casa de arriba está prendida. Ahí es donde vive la viejita. Voy a tratar de no hacer ruido para que no me vaya a escuchar. Fíjense que a mí me da más miedo la viejita que, no sé, me voy a parecer un fantasma o algo así. It's fairly obvious that Natalie and her family left in a rush. Se supone que así como dijo ella y esta Natalie pues se fueron de rápido ese día. No recogieron nada. Dijo pues sí me dijo que iba a haber incluso esta comida. Hasta frijoles aquí. Hoy William me fue parece como están enlamados. At first it seems like there's not much to see. Just an average empty house. But then things start to get a little strange. Lo que veo es que hay muchas fotos de niños. What was that? Did you see it? I saw well, it. Eric didn't either, but watch again. Oh, I saw it. Lo que veo es que hay muchas fotos oh, de I niños. Oh, I saw it. Oh, no. 
Oh, no. YouTube commenters pointed out that it looks like a small girl dressed in all white briefly peeks out from behind a curtain. Again, I should note, the house is supposedly empty. <laughs> Eric spots a doll that seems to be a bit out of place. Little did he know that after the filming, the house's owner would tell him that the doll doesn't belong to them. What? And they've never seen it. But even creepier, later in the video, Eric passes by the same room again. And, uh, the doll is gone. Did you see it? As YouTube commenters would later point out, the doll has now vanished. Eric heads into the bedroom to investigate, and this is when things get truly bizarre. Parece que se puede subir por aquí, pero está como sellado. ¿Qué pedo está esta casa rara? ¿Dónde está construida raro? Oh my god. ¿Qué es esto? Oh my god. And once again I have to ask, did you see it? Oh my god. Something ducks out of sight under the bed. Again, Eric doesn't notice. This too was spotted later by YouTube viewers. Eric gathers his courage and heads back in to check out the curtain. It didn't go well. No, 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 no. 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 Oh, hell no. Run, man. No. As he rounds the corner, a shadowy figure ducks back into the corner of the room. To the no man, I wouldn't touch that shit with a 60 inch pole, man. 60 foot pole. I it's oh boy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and don't subscribe. Um, Blast from Sage D Twizzles.